<clears throat> so this is a test of the Rode blimp system using the Rode NTGA shotgun mic and I'm doing this to see how well the blimp system can help to eliminate ambient noise especially wind noise and see how well it performs the main reason I'm doing this inside is because I've been waiting for a really windy day to happen where I can go record outside and see how well the microphone performs and the blind system performs in those conditions. But unfortunately, every time it's been windy, it's been really, really rainy. So I haven't been able to get outside and record. So instead, I'm in my house, I'll be using a fan to simulate a high wind and then I'll be applying the rope blimp and the wombat over the top to see how well they affect the sound. So at the moment, I've just got the Rode NTG8 sitting in the shock mounts that come with the blimp. You actually get two sets of shock mounts. And I found that if you're using a long shotgun mic like the NTG8, you'll have to put in the more heavy duty suspension system. Otherwise, it starts pointing for a weird angle. And now I'll turn on the fan and see how well the microphone performs. Just completely exposed, no windshield on it at all. So now I've got the fan on, on setting 3, it's high setting, simulate a high wind as best as I can. I can see the mic stand is wobbling a bit, but the suspension system seems to be handling that movement quite well. And I'm actually about 2 or so metres away from the microphone at the moment, but I'm willing to bet I'll be picked up quite clearly by the microphone. It has a very, very thin pickup angle. So really, if I was any further back, I'll still be able to pick up just as clearly. All right, now I'm gonna to go to put on the road blimp and I'll see how that changes the sound. So now I've put on the blimp and hopefully that's dealing with a lot of the wind noise coming from the fan. It's really quite easy to put together, it just slides over the top of the shock mount design, screw on the end caps and you're good to go. I've had to buy the extender piece for it because I've got the NTG8 which is too long for the standard blimp. But it all fits together really nicely, really well designed and hopefully it's doing a really good job here. One thing I've noticed about the blimp though is that even with the heavy duty suspension system with a mic like the NTG8, it does tend to sag down a little bit. So if I'm using a stand and want the mic to be level, I've got to actually angle the blimp up a little bit and then the mic will end up being level. But it's really not that big of a deal in the long run, it's just a little something I've noticed. All right, and now I'm gonna put on the dead wombat over the top of the blimp. The blimp actually comes with the dead wombat, but when I bought the extender, you obviously need a longer one, and that comes with, it's all part of the kit, so that's going to slide on over. Alright, and now I've finally got the dead wombat on, which just slides over the top of the blimp quite easily. It's a bit of a snug fit, so it's a bit tight, but it does sit on there. And hopefully with the dead wombat and the blimp combined, that a lot of that wind noise is being cancelled out and you can hear me more clearly. Um, the only thing that's a bit off is that you know it's only a side wind. I don't have a lot of different wind directions coming through, so it's not a purely accurate representation but it seems to be working really, really well. I'm not getting any peaks in my interface from what I can see. And yeah, it seems to be performing really, really well. So, cheers.